All right, moving on. Next comic coming up to the stage is Paul Bess. Kevin Dean, what's going on? How y'all doing? Give it up for Kwame, man. Give it up for Kwame. Looks like a young David Ruffin from The Temptations. I wish it would rain. Oh, I wish it would rain, rain, rain. Hey, give it up for Rochelle, man. Come on, first time on comedy? Are you serious? What? She, you know what? If I date a girl, I can't date a girl like Rochelle because she looks like she could might kick my ass. You know what I'm saying? I got to go to beat up a girl if I'm dating her. Not that I would. Not that I would. How you ladies doing? Y'all doing good? Huh? I like the, uh, I like the hold the top. I like the, like the midriff showing. I like the midriff. I'm going to jack off to you later. I'm going to jack off to you later. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm going to jack off to your friend. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so impressive. What's up like that? What's going on? I want you to record this. I want you to extra record it. I've got a girlfriend. Uh, I live with my girlfriend. Anybody here live with a girl? Live with your girlfriend or your wife? Anything like that? Anybody? Live with your girlfriend? Oh, shit, dude. Let me tell you something. I have not worn men's deodorant in like a year. <laughs> I used to like when I run out, I go buy some, but she's got deodorant right there. It smells okay. I smell beautiful. I got a women's degree right now. I'm not even fucking with you. And when I first moved in with her, she had, she didn't do it anymore, but she had a toothbrush in the shower. I'm like, hey, what the fuck is going on? She, and she told me she likes to brush her teeth. Like, if she's late for work, she'll like shower and brush her teeth at the same time. And one time, it was after a month I've been there, she was in the, at the sink. I came out of the shower. I was like, hey, baby, I really like this asshole brush. It really gets a lot of the toilet tissue out. Don't be late to me, mama. <laughs> My girlfriend is, uh, she's Asian. She is Thai. And she has a beautiful vagina. A lovely... Asians have lovely vaginas. My man knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Young lady in the back? Mixed, maybe? Mixed Asian? Half good vagina? Oh, I'll just fuck with you. I'll just fuck with you. But no, she does. Like, it, all right. And I'm thankful for that because I have dated a lot of girls that have an affliction. And I hate when girls have it, but I've been with a few that have a meaty vagina. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Has <laughs> anybody been with a busy vagina? Yo, dangling like a motherfucker. Just a lot going on. I'm just like, a lot of flips and flaps and twists and turns. It's a vagina buffet. <laughs> there's too much. There's too much to choose from. I was dating this girl, had the meaty vagina, and she, we first time we had sex, she was like, "I want you to play, rub my clit, rub my clit." <laughs> I'm like, all right, uh... <laughs> huh? No? It's like, no, I'm like, mm, this flap right here? <laughs> no, shit. Let me move all, you know what, let me move all these flaps over. Underneath, no, fuck you, meaty vagina. It's a puzzle I can't figure out. And you know what, I find out what the meaty vagina is, it gets too wet. Now, I know that seems weird. I know, see, I know guys, a wet vagina's not a bad thing, but you don't want a fucking broken fire hydrant. <laughs> I had a bitch that used to ruin my comforter. I'd have to go get my grandma's towel from the bathroom. Hold on, girl, let me get my grandma's towel before we have sex. And then I, because of that, the next girl I dated, she had a meaty vagina as well. And I always break up with them for the meaty vagina. They always say, oh, it's because we don't get along and our schedules aren't meeting. It's the meaty vagina. I can't fuck with it. It's too wet. So the girl I dated with the meaty vagina, I made sure I kept in my nightstand condoms, KY jelly, and a ShamWow. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my God. That shit came in handy. There's another thing, well, another kind of girl that I can't date and that's a girl that has STLG. You guys ever heard of that before, STLG? It's an acronym, and it stands for short tooth, long gum. <laughs> guys, you ever seen a girl like that? You guys have it too, but you think the girl's attractive, and then she smiles like, oh shit, that upper lip goes up like a window shade. 
I was trying to talk to her. She's like talking about her fucking dog and shit on a date. And all I think is like, oh shit, I think this girl's got gingivitis. She's got some hungry gums. All right, guys, I'm Paul Bass. You've been fantastic. Peace out. Meaty vaginas. <laughs> Give it up again for Paul Bass. All right, up next to the stage, we have coming up Cat Leth. Give it up for Cat Leth. Fan's gonna blow my paper away. <laughs> okay, so I had to get lunch with my boss the other day, and it was really weird because I was really self conscious. Felt like I was gonna fuck it up. I really like my boss, I like my job, I didn't wanna fuck it up. And I ordered a motherfucking salad. That was my first goddamn mistake. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to eat a salad in a self conscious situation. It's basically like eating a bowl of like shredded paper. Like, the fork of the spoon doesn't matter. Like, no matter what you're using, it's completely hopeless. Especially if there's those little tomatoes in it that are still whole. It's like paper with like rubber bouncy balls mixed in. It's just completely impossible to wrangle no matter what tool you're using. There's a lot of foods that make you look dumb, like, I don't know if I just missed out on like some sort of childhood lesson when it comes to eating foods, but like I order noodles and then you have a big bowl of noodles, you shove like a half pound of them in your mouth. I don't know if I should just keep sucking and risk an asthma attack or if I should go for the horizontal chomp off and look like an idiot. Like where you shove a whole like fork full of them into your mouth and then you just kind of chomp across because the noodles are far too long to eat everything that's coming up. Slow down noodles, you know? trying to look cool right now. <laughs> and then there's fucking croutons. I don't know if you guys even know about croutons. We have a long history. I don't like those motherfuckers because there's three different methods. You can either shove the whole crouton into your mouth or look like a fucking barbarian. Or you can spend like three minutes trying to like whittle it, you know, into like different sectors. You know, you're like trying to deal with the crouton while still trying to listen to your boss that you're for whatever reason having lunch with. Or you can go for the Hammer of Thor method where you just like, you're like, oh, the crouton's too big! And then you just like smash it with your fork and then it's like a disaster everywhere. A little piece of it goes into the boss's eye. That happened. <laughs> that definitely happened. I took this poop the other day. <laughs> And there was way too much poop on my ass afterwards, and I was very confused about the physical process that occurs. Because, I mean, I don't know, like my, it's not like an airtight compartment down there, you know? It's like the poop should just fall out of my butt and then exit into the toilet. But somehow there's like three tablespoons of poop still in my ass. It, whatever, don't ooh me. Like, you guys know what I'm fucking talking about. Like, you either have the perfect poop where there's nothing there and you're like, fuck yes, I'm gonna keep on with my day right now, or there's way too much. You spend like five minutes wiping, not understanding what's happening. It's really oily. There's like exotic animals going extinct in the oil slick of your ass. There's like scientists taking pictures that are really sad. Animals going extincter in your finger. <laughs> and then there's the different methods because if you go for the full wipe if you're just doing like the lateral wiping you're gonna have shit like halfway up your back so you kind of got to do the the you know you got to kind of pinch it you got to pinch it out go for the pinching motion like I'll do anything if there's like something covering my hand I swear to god like whatever give me a piece of tissue and I'll fucking like whatever I got to do you know I'll wipe someone else's ass if you give me a paper towel What's my next year? Oh, okay. So I was watching Life Alert infomercials recently, and it's, it's such a like cheap looking thing that just blows my mind. It's like a little rope with a button on it. That can't just be it. Like, I just imagine like, there's no like lock on the back or anything. Like you can literally just roll over onto this button at any time. And then like, it triggers all these things. And there's like, 
police officers coming to your house and shit? Like, what if an old person accidentally like triggered the life alert thing and there's like all these groans like, ah, yeah, you know, they don't know what's going on and then they get there and he's just like, having the best sex that he's had in like 40 years and then the paramedics and everyone has to see it. I don't know. <laughs> I think there should be like a senior lock on life alerts. So you, so you at least have to be sure, you know, you can't just like press it. It's like a doorbell, it's way too easy. <laughs> Did you guys know that there's Nair for vaginas? <laughs> I just like to... <laughs> I just like to imagine ladies like, put, like carefully putting cream on their vagina and then just like sitting in front of a fan for six to eight minutes. <laughs> anyway, that's my time. You guys have a good night. I'm Kat Lev. Give it up again for Kat Lev. All right, final four. Uh, next, coming up to the stage, very funny guy. You're up for Josh Horsford. What's going on, Cafe Dion? Make some noise for yourselves, sticking around so late. That's right, that's right. Oh man, what I want to talk about. Um, so you guys ever hear people say like, man, that place sucks dick. But it's confusing for me, you know, because they always mean it in a bad way. But I really like blowjobs. So I'm just like, man, that place sucks dick. I'm like, oh really? <laughs> I'm gonna go comb my hair and put on a nice shirt. I'm gonna get a blowjob, I don't wanna look like some hoodlum. Nah, they should always just say like, man, that place sucks dick. Negative connotation of that word. My roommate will come in like, man, that, man, Chipotle sucks dick. I'm like, really? Tell me more. <laughs> that sounds too good to be true so far. A burrito and a blowjob? <laughs> Must be some kind of catch to that. Huh? You gotta buy two burritos, huh? Or like three? All right, let me go comb my hair real quick. <laughs> Now nah, I feel like the only way that, that phrase should be negative if it's like, man, that guy, that guy in his cancer sucked dick. My dick, when I was six years old. And it completely stunted my emotional growth and I'll never be able to live with a woman properly. Man, you right. She did suck dick, man. She, she ruined. <laughs> she ruined now. <laughs> man. Y'all ever like, you know, like drive on the street, y'all like driving down the street, and you hear like a guy honk, you be like, boom, boom. I'm like, what, is, what are you trying to say, man? Like, I would fuck you, but I'm clearly busy. <laughs> it's for the creep on the go and shit. Like, <laughs> like if that clap, if dark cleaners didn't close that five, I'd be all over that pussy. <laughs> my, my humps would be a little bit different. My humps would be like, ooh, that's a nice dress. <laughs> or like, you got pretty eyes. Or like, I mean, yeah, after we date for like a reasonable amount of time, I mean, it only makes sense that you meet my mom. I mean, that's what my homes would be like. Um, so I was thinking, like, I remember uh, Looney, Looney Tunes. Y'all watched Looney Tunes as a kid? Yeah. I was watching Looney Tunes, and I was like, man, I'm pretty sure when Foghorn Leghorn gets by himself, that chicken says nigga. <laughs> like I can just tell by the, <laughs> I can tell him the way he talks. He's like, I say, I say, niggas are lazy. <laughs> Whoa, chicken? <laughs> Calm the fuck down, man. You're... <laughs> nah. But if you like this Looney Tunes joke, <laughs> love this one. I was chilling with my boy the other weekend, man, and I was like, man, I was, I was drunk as a skunk, dog. I was like, man, stop making a fool of yourself because skunks don't even get drunk. Like, skunks don't have IDs to get in the bars. Can you imagine Pepe the Pew outside the bar? It's bitches in there. Let me in there. I must fuck those bitches. Like, nah, man, we can't. They all got restraining orders against you. You a huge creep. A, sk a skunk who wants to fuck a cat. Like, come on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all remember that movie RoboCop? Oh, yeah. RoboCop. They make it a new RoboCop movie, right? I'm like, why? What's the point? You already did. It's called Iron Man 1 and 2. 
Like, who the fuck? You, you guys ever seen RoboCop? It's like, hey, RoboCop, go get that guy. On it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, RoboCop, is that a tape deck in your, in your thigh, man? <laughs> hey, RoboCop, how old are you? Because you suck at fighting crime. You don't have a jetpack or nothing. <laughs> hey, RoboCop, you need Wi-Fi to get on the internet. <laughs> you don't even have 4G, RoboCop. Oh, come on, man. Come on, RoboCop, we don't have time to go to that internet cafe. Robert Downey Jr. was in Bowfinger. <laughs> That's a RoboCop joke, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I'm an, uh, I'm an English major. That's right, you don't have to clap for it. <laughs> it's not that cool. Um, but one day I just want to hear someone, like I get jealous because one day I just want to hear someone say like, oh my God, is there an English major in the house? This Shakespeare is so confusing. <laughs> what does the subtext really mean? I don't, what is he really saying about life? I don't understand. Oh man. <laughs> So, um, man, I don't know about you. you. Are you guys morning people at all? Morning people? I'm not a morning person at all. Hell yeah. Woo. Um, I'm not a morning person at all. Like, sometimes I'm just, I'll just sit back and chill. Like, if I, sometimes I think, like, if I don't get coffee, man, I'll turn into, like, a complete zombie, you know? Like, if I don't get coffee, I will just stroll into the office and start biting a nigga's neck. <laughs> and that shit just tastes mad good to me. Like, I'm just... It's like, oh, hey, Josh. Bruh! So hungry. So tired. If I had Folgers, this shit wouldn't even be like this. I don't even know. But, uh, how you guys doing? You guys having a good time so far? I'm just going to scroll through my jokes. I don't know if you guys can. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting that. Oh, man. So I was thinking, right? If the toys in Toy Story didn't want to be given away, I'm like, you know what they should have done? Don't worry, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Got up and started talking. Because <laughs> who the fuck is going to throw away some talking toys? Like, <laughs> like, every movie, these motherfuckers are like breaking out of jail or like solving like the, the fucking global warming crisis, but it's like as soon as Woody comes in the room, as soon as Andy comes in the room, they drop dead. And they don't want to get thrown away. I'm like, man, Woody. What are you, a cowboy? Buzz, you're a, you're a space ranger, man. Stop acting like some bitches. <laughs> you're acting like this. I don't know. Just get up and start talking. If I was, if I was, if I was Woody, I would have pulled Andy to the side like, hey, man. I would have told him something like, hey, man. Before you go off to college, let me tell you something. We're haunted, and if you throw us away, we'll kill you. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, support local comedy. I had a great night. My name is Joshua Horsford, and... Uh, Titties for everybody. One more time for Josh. Yeah.